Salutations, friends. It is I, said Stevie. And today, taking a closer look at this guy right here from Elite Outfitting Solutions. This is the microsurgeon. Uh, starting off with the uh, blade here, you're looking at a 3.25 inch CTS XHP uh, two tone uh, Warncliffe style blade with, uh, I believe this is a flat grind. I thought it was a hollow at first, but I'm pretty sure that this is a uh, flat grind. Uh, you see the XTS XHP uh, blade uh, marking there. Uh, thumb stud uh, for deployment. You see the nice uh, EOS uh, hexagon style uh, captured pivot there. And then this variant is titanium with carbon fiber uh, inlays in that uh, hexagon uh, pattern. Uh, minimalist screws, uh, you see only one uh, screw on uh, the body there, uh, moving around to the backside. Uh, no uh, backspacer, uh, by the way. Um, you got a, a couple of, I believe that this is all T10. Um, I didn't check, but I'm pretty sure this is T10. Um, on the uh, uh, body screws. Uh, nice uh, little uh, uh, pocket clip. It's uh, good to go. Uh, this slides in and out of pocket really well, although it is extremely stiff. Um, and then uh, a nice uh, looking uh, pivot screw there. And then uh, you see uh, the clip side of the uh, blade. It is a frame lock running on uh, caged uh, washers. Very easy to uh, access the uh, lock bar, and um, uh, it it's got uh, it's got solid lockup on there. Um, you can't maybe you can see a little bit, but it also has some internal milling. Uh, the hexagon uh, pattern continues uh, into the uh, underside there. Um, it's a very light knife. And the action is, uh, you know, drop to the nail, fall shut. Uh, you can uh, middle finger flick this, uh, no problem. Uh, thumb flick it, uh, no problem. Uh, even uh, lefty uh, friendly, it's not uh, lock bar sensitive uh, at all. Uh, detent is a little on the light side. Um, you can uh, you can fail it. Um, I would like to see a little bit more uh, lock bar uh, pressure on there. Uh, just to have the detent be a little bit snappier and then you know it does you know shake out but uh overall length uh you are looking at uh 7.25 uh inch with a four inch handle and it's extremely comfortable the the ergos on this are great um the uh being no flipper tab although it's it, you know that choil there is it's really just a sharpening choil um, it's a, I don't really like the, uh, choil on there. I think they should have given you a full choil to, uh, to choke up on, but you can choke up if you want to, just because you got that flat there, uh, since it doesn't have a flipper tab. Uh, but that said, um, you know, I do get, uh, just about a four, uh, inch, uh, the way it's angled there, I get a little bit hanging off if it w was a full, um, if they didn't have that little uh, cutout there, that little angular uh, cutout, I'd definitely get a, a full four on it. But uh, it's it's definitely a uh, comfortable, uh, ergonomic-friendly knife. Um, and as their uh, blade, their blade, uh, as their website indicates and the box indicates, uh, this is 100% made in the United States. Now, there's been a couple people that have made comments to me that they don't think that that claim is true. I don't really have anything to, you know, I, I don't remember exactly what they said. Uh, so I don't really want to throw out that allegation myself. Um, I saw an interview with EOS uh, from Blade Show a couple years ago with uh, Blade HQ. And they said that they make everything in-house uh, at their shop in uh, New York. And they're claiming 100% made in the United States. So I got to go with that. Um, 
I'm hoping it is because it's carrying a pretty hefty uh, price tag. Uh, $481 uh, for this guy. Uh, and so if it's not, uh, I don't, I wouldn't understand why this would be so expensive. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's a good knife. There are other variants available of the, uh, with this. And I think I would like those variants, uh, more. I really like this. Uh, if I were to get one, I really like this, uh, carbon fiber, uh, stone washed one. It is a little bit more money. Um, but, uh, you know, or even, you know, if the, you know, the plain Jane one, uh, I would have liked with, that comes with a little bit more reasonable, uh, price tag on that. Uh, but that one is out of stock and these are a couple years old for sure. Um, they haven't, uh, been in stock, uh, these ones, uh, for a while from what I've been able to see. I don't see a lot of people posting on, uh, the microsurgeon. Um, not a lot of uh, information out, but uh, this is a knife that was lent into me by uh, Revolving Blades uh, as part of his collection. He's got a baller collection, uh, same one that uh, lent me his Arno Bernards, uh, the Imamba and the Squirrel. Might have just seen uh, those videos. Uh, so I'm wrapping up with these and I uh, got to get them back to him. But yeah, very interesting knife. Uh what I, I, I'd say my big complaint about this, um, is really, it comes down to the finish. Although it's done really well, um, I would, uh, so I have this problem with, um, a couple of my Ferrum Forges as well. Uh, when it's just this satin finished titanium, uh, it's, you just get a bunch of, uh, you know, um fingerprints all over it and it's always looking dirty i like a stoned washed uh finish or you know some a little bit better of a, a a user's finish on my uh knives and then it's just it's just a little plain jane on that side you know on this side cool i would have liked to see them continue that along uh the side uh the the clip side as well so uh this knife is definitely uh this variant is not something that I would pick up, um, but it's it's a very interesting knife. And I got to say, uh, if the other Plain Jane versions uh, were available, you know, the ones for like 320 I would probably pick that up for sure. Um, I like this knife enough that uh, if it was a little bit more affordable for me in a different finish, I could see adding this uh, into the uh, collection. I really dig the uh, blade shape. Um, I think everything, you know, the construction of it is done really well. I like that it's made in the United States. Um, yeah, uh, this checks all my boxes, uh, you know, for the most part. It's just uh, the, uh, it's, it's this variant that I'm not real jazzed about. But that being said, it's, I think it's a great knife. So that's really all I got for you folks. Um, let me know what you think. And until the next one. I bid you mofos a deuces.